In precise timekeeping, delta t, delta t, delta t, delta t, or dt, is a measure of the cumulative effect of the departure of the Earth's rotation period from the fixed length day of atomic time. Formally, it is the time difference obtained by subtracting universal time (ut), defined by the Earth's rotation, from terrestrial time (tt), independent of the Earth's rotation (delta t) equals tt minus ut. The value of delta t for the start of 1902 is approximately zero. For 2002, it is about 64 seconds. So the Earth's rotations over that century took about 64 seconds longer than would be required for days of atomic time. Equals. Topic: Calculating delta t. The Earth's rotational speed is new. One half pi d theta dt and a day corresponds to one period p equals one new. A rotational acceleration d nu dt gives a rate of change of the period of dp dt equals minus one nu two d nu dt, which is usually expressed as alpha. Topic. New dp dt minus one new d new dt. This has units of one time and is commonly quoted as milliseconds per day per century, written as ms per day psi, understood as ms per day psi. Integrating alpha gives an expression for delta t against time. Topic: Universal time. Universal time is a time scale based on the Earth's rotation, which is somewhat irregular over short periods days up to a century, thus any time based on it cannot have an accuracy better than 1 in 108. However, a larger, more consistent effect has been observed over many centuries, Earth's rate of rotation is inexorably slowing down. This observed change in the rate of rotation is attributable to two primary forces, one decreasing and one increasing the Earth's rate of rotation. Over the long term, the dominating force is tidal friction, which is slowing the rate of rotation, contributing about alpha. Topic: plus 2.3 milliseconds per day, psi or dp, dt. Plus 2.3 milliseconds, psi, which is equal to the very small fractional change plus 7.3 times 10 minus 13 day per day. The most important force acting in the opposite direction, to speed up the rate, is believed to be a result of the melting of continental ice sheets at the end of the last glacial period. This removed their tremendous weight, allowing the land under them to begin to rebound upward in the polar regions, an effect that is still occurring today and will continue until isostatic equilibrium is reached. This post-glacial rebound brings mass closer to the rotational axis of the earth which makes the earth spin faster according to the law of conservation of angular momentum similar to an ice skater pulling their arms in to spin faster models estimate this effect to contribute about -0.6 milliseconds per day psi combining these two effects the net acceleration actually a deceleration of the rotation of the earth or the change in the length of the mean solar day lod is +1.7 milliseconds per day psi this matches the average rate derived from astronomical records over the past 27 centuries. Topic: Terrestrial time. Terrestrial time is a theoretical uniform time scale defined to provide continuity with the former ephemeris time ET. ET was an independent time variable proposed and its adoption agreed in the period 1948 to 52 with the intent of forming a gravitationally uniform time scale as far as was feasible at that time and depending for its definition on Simon Newcomb's tables of the Sunday 1895 interpreted in a new way to accommodate certain observed discrepancies. Newcomb's tables formed the basis of all astronomical ephemerides of the Sun from 1900 through 1983, they were originally expressed and published in terms of Greenwich Mean Time and the Mean Solar Day, but later, in respect of the period 1960–1983, they were treated as expressed in terms of ET, in accordance with the adopted ET proposal of 1948–52. 
ET in turn can now be seen in light of modern results as close to the average mean solar time between 1750 and 1890 centered on 1820 because that was the period during which the observations on which Newcomb's tables were based were performed while TT is strictly uniform being based on the SI second, every second is the same as every other second, it is in practice realized by International Atomic Time with an accuracy of about one part in 1014. <laughs> Earth's rate of rotation Earth's rate of rotation must be integrated to obtain time, which is Earth's angular position specifically, the orientation of the meridian of Greenwich relative to the fictitious mean Sun. Integrating plus 1.7 milliseconds, d, psi and centering the resulting parabola on the year 1820 yields to a first approximation 32 times year minus 1821 hundredths 2 to 20 seconds for delta t. Smoothed historical measurements of delta t using total solar eclipses are about plus 17190s in the year minus 500, 501 BC, plus 10580s in 0, 1 BC, plus 5710s in 500, plus 1570s in 1000, and plus 200s in 1500. After the invention of the telescope, measurements were made by observing occultations of stars by the Moon, which allowed the derivation of more closely spaced and more accurate values for delta T. Delta T continued to decrease until it reached a plateau of plus 11 plus or minus 6 s between 1680 and 1866. For about three decades immediately before 1902 it was negative, reaching minus 6.64 s. Then it increased to plus 63.83 s in January 2000 and plus 68.97 s in January 2018. This will require the addition of an ever greater number of leap seconds to UTC as long as UTC tracks UT1 with one second adjustments. The SI second, as now used for UTC, when adopted, was already a little shorter than the current value of the second of mean solar time. Physically, the meridian of Greenwich in universal time is almost always to the east of the meridian in terrestrial time, both in the past and in the future. Plus 17190s or about 4 and 3 quarters h corresponds to 71.625 degrees east. This means that in the year minus 500, 501 BC, Earth's faster rotation would cause a total solar eclipse to occur 71.625 degrees to the east of the location calculated using the uniform TT. Topic. Values prior to 1955 All values of delta t before 1955 depend on observations of the Moon, either via eclipses or occultations. The angular momentum lost by the Earth due to friction induced by the Moon's tidal effect is transferred to the Moon, increasing its angular momentum, which means that its moment arm its distance from the Earth is increased for the time being about plus 3.8 cm per year, which via Kepler's laws of planetary motion causes the Moon to revolve around the Earth at a slower rate. The cited values of delta t assume that the lunar acceleration actually a deceleration, that is a negative acceleration due to this effect is dn, dt equals minus 26, psi 2, where n is the mean sidereal angular motion of the Moon. This is close to the best estimate for dn, dt as of 2002 of minus 25.858 plus or minus 0 0.003, psi 2 so delta t need not be recalculated given the uncertainties and smoothing applied to its current values. Nowadays, UT is the observed orientation of the Earth relative to an inertial reference frame formed by extra-galactic radio sources, modified by an adopted ratio between sidereal time and solar time. Its measurement by several observatories is coordinated by the International Earth Rotation and Reference Systems Service <laughs> Notes <laughs>